people, people, are we here to learn or not? What do you mean, Farkle? I've been in love with Riley since the first grade. <laughs> Riley is a sun, warm and bright and lights up my whole day. Think he'll sit with us? <laughs> Ladies, Farkle. Riley, take Farkle for a walk. <laughs> and I will easily be able to make another one of you. Ow. And another one of you. Ow. Wait, so now there's four of us and one of you? That's awesome. Oh, wondrous gatekeeper of the knowledge. We are travelers from another time and place. Seventh grade middle school. We wish to partake of this information from your great hall of wisdom. Do you rent phones? That's the best you got? Please be cool, please be cool, please be cool. <laughs> you don't think that I can do boop? How bad do you think this is gonna be? I think we should have some faith in our Riley. I can do boop like you've never seen. Boop! Take your finger out. Can't. Can't move. Scared. Sparkle. Boy, Riley, I don't think I could do that even if I tried. Hey, Maya. Boop! Oh, no. You want me to bring you lunch? No. Food would only keep me alive. Who our age knows how to flirt? Hello, ladies. Farkle, you were out there? I'm always out there. Farkle, you're the biggest flirt in seventh grade. Oh, I thank you. Can you teach me how to flirt with Lucas? I would do whatever you asked me. But I thought you loved her. I love both of you. I want you happy. So you think you'll sit with us or her? <laughs> Hey, can I sit with you guys? You better. So, you think you'll sit with us or her? I think I'll just steal her from Lucas myself. You would do that for me? Well, I'm certainly not doing it for me, toots. She's evil. I'm not back in two minutes. She ate me. And lips. Oh, you, the doors of breath. Seal with a righteous kiss. Back off! What meanest thou? Spear carrier, who havest no lines. You tried to kiss my woman. This I cannot allow. Prepare to die. Farkle. Thank you. Thank you, Farkle Nation. You killed the play. Tell him. What? What does she mean? She means you killed it, Farkle. Killed it. Showbiz talk. Actually, I thought I ruined the play. If you would have told me I ruined the play, I would have believed you. I would have been crushed, but I would have believed you. <sighs> Farkle! Riley, you changed my life. The Farkle you knew is gone. I am now... Farkle! What happened? You happened. You told me I was good. Well, I just auditioned for the next play. Are you gonna be in the next play? I'm not even allowed to watch the next play. I'm sorry I could never hurt you. You made me think I was this great actor. You filled me up with confidence that I was really special. You made me think I could go after something totally unrealistic. Fargo. Thank you. <laughs> because that was your first kiss and it was with Fargo. Greetings, fellow party goer. Farkle? I've never seen such immediate and overwhelming popularity. I'm popular? You're not letting her reach her full potential! <sighs> Sorry, Farkle. It was a lovely party, and your friends are really pretty cool. We are? <laughs> We've never been called that before. <laughs> Thanks, Riley. We feel the same way about you. Well, Farkle, good job being smart and everything. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Riley. Sorry you had to see me lose again. <laughs> I have a very specific taste in girls. Is she one? Uh-huh. That'll do it. Don't be fooled by a pretty rapper. I mean, who keeps the wrapping paper? <laughs> I wear ribbons. <laughs> OK. If Riley and Maya weren't beautiful, would you still love them? They're beautiful? Oh, yeah. I never really noticed. you do this to me, Parkle? You told me you were just going to take a picture of the horse. I want to win. Parkle, don't even talk to me. Riley, I... 
I don't want to be dictator anymore. Dictators don't have any friends. Hello, news lady. Carpool. Carpool? <laughs> you will, however, receive the Furkle home game as a consolation prize. Ooh, what's that? It's this game where the loser goes, <laughs> Furkle. Look, I really want one of you with the buggies with me to pick me up when I lose again to my arch nemesis, Smackle. <laughs> Smackle? What kind of parents name their kids Smackle, Farkle? Oh, thank you for my smoothie. Extra thick, so you can eat it with a spoon. You know me very well. <laughs> that giggle is my favorite sound in the world. I know I've told you I've loved you since the first grade, but I don't think I've ever told you why. Have you been seeing someone else? <laughs> There's only you. I don't think it's going to be so easy to get me all emotional over some little object that shoots me down memory lane. Bing! This is the hippo. You're alive. You gave me this when you sat with me in the hospital when I had my tonsils out. I lost her and never had the heart to tell you. How did you know? About two of them, you know, just in case you lost the one I gave you. What's the other one think, Cisco? You should find out by asking. What do you think, other one? I think you're way too close. I may not look so tough, and I don't say yo, but I'm insane when it comes to these two. So what you're going to do is run down the platform screaming until you reach Broadway. I just don't see it screaming until Broadway. Who do you think you are, anyway? Oh, me. Ah! <laughs> you know what? I've decided to go with Farkle. You don't have to. I'm going. I said I'm going. I will mess you up. And I will clean me up. Ha! Riley, what are we doing? Are we really fighting over Farkle? Yeah. But I'm gonna win. Ladies. Farkle. Thanks for the text, Maya. Enjoy the video chat, Riley. I know this is out of your comfort zone, Riley. I'm really impressed you would do this for me. This bay window is very special to me, Farkle, and I enjoy sharing it with people who are special to me. Like you. Well, I was just picturing you with this dinner with Maya. I mean, you guys so don't belong together. You don't think we do? Not at all. <laughs> do you think we do? I don't know. Do you? We actually let him come between us. We did. How could we ever fight about that? Because he's great. For the rest of our lives, let's never settle for anyone less than Farkle. Any day, Blanket may have lost his boogies, but certainly won fart hearts. Unbelievable. I think they're perfect. He said I was the biggest nothing in this school. What? He said I had no right to walk around acting all confident and pretending like people liked me. He said I had no right to have friends like you because I was the biggest nothing in this school. Give your daughter to me. I'll give you four oxen and my best milking cow. Are you actually thinking about this? It's a good deal. Is that this kid here wants my blessing. You want it? I do, sir. You got it. Really? 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 Because I got a cow in the elevator. Hey, Maya, let's run towards each other in slow motion. Ma! No. Come on, you know you want to. Farkle, who else would stop? Ladies. Yay! I've got two tickets to a concert, but there's three of us. So who do I take? <laughs> I like the way you hugged me, Riley. I'm taking you. I did not see that coming. I'm a visionary, Riley. I look ahead. You, me, Mars. Let's do this thing. How does this stuff even get in here? We're the editors. Wow, we must have very poor... Uh. This is me now. Farkle? Nope, Farkle's gone. You will never see him again. Gonna talk about the dark age. Will you calm down? He's one minute late. Stop overreacting. What if he never shows up? What if I never learn anything else? <laughs> I'm going down, sir. Oh, he's not even here. Sparkle's fixed. No Maya time. You may proceed. You know the reason I've never been able to choose between you? Because if it was you all the time, life would be like la 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 la
Farkle? Hey, what part of Descensus in Caniculi Coffin do you not understand? All of it. It means we drop down into the rabbit hole, man. When will you find out? Not sure. When he does this kind of stuff, he's not around the house very much. No, you say you're embarrassed by it, but how big could it possibly be? I don't know. I haven't seen it all. Farkle, we couldn't love you less just because you have more than us. And then more specialized schools with gifted programs like Einstein Academy might approach you. Now Farkle says... I'd never leave my friends behind. Who's a good genius? I am. Okay. The most important thing to him was that you're a part of this. Because he's Farkle. Please don't ever let me not understand love. Would you guys be upset if I transferred to Einstein Academy? Yes. Farkle, Isadora Smackle loves you. But I'm loyal to both of you. <laughs> well, your two fake wives want you to spend time with one real Smackle. Go get him, tiger. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Did you ask us to help you understand love? Yeah. Then go figure it out. Farkle, my arch nemesis. Smackle, my arch nemesis. Riley, Maya, my wives who I'll adore forever. I want a divorce, make it a double. This is the longest relationship I've ever had. You will love again, Riley. Riley, dance. Absolutely. No, no, no. Do you want me to buy you ice cream, Farkle? What? Do you want me to buy you ice cream? Oh, are you sure? Yeah, let's go. I love you, Farkle. And I love you. I like science. Why don't you want me to get better? I do. There is no situation where I wouldn't want that for you. Riley, I've always been your friend. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. Nice job, partner. Partner. If you don't tell everybody how you really feel, this horn blows at midnight. <laughs> Just because I don't do much doesn't mean I can't. You dragged me all the way up the stairs. I liked it. I just need a little more time. No more time. We made a deal, Riley. We're not starting off the new year with lies between friends. I'm lying for my friend, Farkle. You tell them that it doesn't matter if you think standing in a hole is stupid. What matters is us, Farkle. We don't leave. And I'm going to go back in that stupid hole tomorrow. And I don't know what I'm going to learn because I believe that I'm gonna come out knowing more than I do now. And I hope I'm making the right choice, Farkle. I hope my friends will be there right with me. You tell them that. I found out about these wonderful people called Christian Rescuers. They saved babies by taking them in when they're asleep. Thanks. I'm glad you found your story, Riley. 